wizard, what do you see? As you twist the tiles beneath our feet Hi guys welcome back to another video and in today's video we are going to be taking a look at a latest ROM which is just released and this is Lineage OS 7.1.1 on Galaxy S7 Edge and uh, funny thing is the last week we checked out Cyanogen Mode 13 it was a bit crappy uh, the performance was very shit but this time much of the things have uh, been improved over here and uh, the thing is guys please don't hate this rom because it doesn't work fully it uh, takes a lot of effort uh, especially when we have exynos processor and samsung doesn't give us the sources so it's very hard to even boot this thing and make this uh, thing even possible to run smoothly so just don't hate it if you don't want to install just don't install explore with me so first of all it comes with preloaded pixel launcher and here is your nougat uh, drop down notification panel but the sad part is the camera is not working right now the developer is still trying he got it on his device but uh, no right now it's not working here are the pixel apps and looks very plush on this thing as you can see the app opening times are very fast and quick almost like a oneplus 3 and if you are asking for the android benchmark here it is let me show you uh, my one phone uh, which is a redmi note 3 and it cost about 10,000 rupees in india uh, probably like 150 dollars and this is its android score 75k and this is right now 45k so as you know it's uh, not utilizing all of the processor and gpu just right now but as you can see you get uh, uh, pretty much all of the apps from pixel all of the icons are uh, circle right now as you can see and actually if you uh, take a look at the recent apps it's much more bigger over here on stock android and my looks much cleaner uh, as you can see the edge bar is just uh, the flush and here in middle we have the apps and looks much cleaner than the samsung ones sami made uh, them a bit smaller actually i guess let us go to the settings as you can see mobile data is working but the voltage is not working if you go to the display some uh, options are same like the uh, same 13 one as you can see if you go to live display you can adjust it to dynamic cinema many other stuff color calibration is also over here and uh, if you hate stock android you can hate but it looks very beautiful with this curved display over here display size small everything is just over there wake on plug high touch sensitivity are some options especially for this device and uh, my, many more things are just like that over here but if you go to the battery i have actually set it to the performance mode okay so it switches back when you reboot the device i guess as you can see you get a sidebar in order to jump on any kind of setting from your buttons are over here and a recent apps is working right now as you can see and middle you have the, the one tab you can also do it like the uh, google pixel one to so just download an app from the play store there you have the status bar unlocked as you can see everything is working you set it to normal center i prefer to the normal one the right one quick pull down i don't know might turn it off as you can see it's very smooth and looks very clean on this uh, curve screen everything is working just fine as you can see lineage os 14.1 december 5 security patch everything is just latest no good there you go contributors if you still go over here it's loading it's just the cyanogen ones same developers just the name is now new they don't have like a logo for lineage os till now i guess because the boot animation is just like the stock uh, one just android blinking right now and then but let me show you actually the boot animation the device boots just hella quick there you go restart it there it goes and just take a look at the boot time it's very quick there is the boot animation and there you go just one two three seconds and the rom is up and ready to work with a bunch load of apps as you can see i've installed many things over here so it utilizes that thing also very quick android 7.1 is really good and you also get the goodies with the android 7.1 as you can see if you hold you get like the sort of uh, new uh, pop-up menu which you also get with the 7.0 in the official one and the official one will be announced in uh, this month so you will get no more betas betas are now been closed but as you can see if you hold it you get more options over here pretty nice touch and nothing more to explore actually but it works pretty fine and if you have some lags or everything just go to the about phone go to the build number enable uh, the developer options go over here you can just scroll down and enable force gpu rendering it will uh, like lesser much of your lags 
because if you know let me show you one example if you open some chrome tabs as you can see that uh, laggy delay over there you can't actually notice it through the camera but it's very choppy now if you go over here it's still like the sinus mode 14.1 it's not gray but if you tap this button you can always adjust it but uh, the talking about gray here it is actual shade and this is what you get with the lineage os i don't know why it's still bugged off but as you can see you can easily add some toggles over here and now you can usually scroll the pages and you can kind of take in notice that the grace ux is still uh, like the same one and the samsung has not changed many things over here which is a good thing you can nearly get a stock android experience with the upcoming themes too now if you install all super g apps like a super one uh, google apps for like me you get all of that but you get some error with the play services and you also don't get a play store so i'll only like recommend you if you want to go to the top one choose the stock one don't uh, choose for full or super you will not get the play services and the play store but uh, if you want all of the lineage os apps i will recommend the mini or the micro one they don't replace anything also the google launcher because it already has a pixel launcher which is much better as you can see you always get the screen recording over here same toolkit many of the icons have been now tweaked for the lineage os if you go to the memory management 2.2 gig is free pretty good so guys thanks for watching this was a review of lineage os 14.1 on the galaxy s7 edge hope you guys enjoyed please drop a like if you find this useful and peace